Part 4. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just entered the newly renovated section of the convention hall. As you can see, this place is spacious enough to hold any kinds of private and business events, such as business meetings, award ceremonies, concerts, and more. This room can hold up to a thousand people. As a part of the renovations, we installed removable walls with soundproof materials. Now you can have the main meeting and group activities at the same place by simply moving a few walls in the corner. And during the months of January and February, we have a special offer. We provide shuttle bus services to and from major hotels and airports in the area. You can arrange a shuttle for your own group by simply calling us at least two hours in advance. So let's take a look around and we'll talk about rental fees after we go back to the hall. Number 71. Where does this talk take place? Number 72. What does the speaker say was recently installed? Number 73. What will be offered in January and February? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, this message is for Mr. Wright. This is Paula calling from Hometown Motors. I'm calling to let you know that we've completed the vehicle inspection. However, there are two problems that must be fixed in order to pass the inspection. First, you are going to need new tires because there is not sufficient tread remaining to meet the guidelines. Also, there is a rear brake light that is burned out. These items must be taken care of before we can approve the inspection. Both of these items can be fixed here at Hometown Motors. Please call us back at 360 4500 to let us know if you would like us to complete these repairs. We need your permission to start the job. Thank you and have a nice day. Number 74. What kind of business does the woman probably work for? Number 75. What is the purpose of the call? Number 76. What does the woman ask Mr. Wright to do when he returns the call? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Let me explain how things work here at Martin's Fruit Farm. The fruit we have in season right now is a grape, which you can pick on your own. Before you head out to the field this morning, make sure you get a special bag from the farm store, which is located on your left, right next to the main entrance. You'll definitely need one of them to put the grapes in as you harvest them. And if you need assistance while you're in the field, just ask any of our farm workers. You'll be able to spot them easily by bright red aprons they're wearing. Gathering grapes is a little different than picking other fruits because the vines they grow on are delicate. So, now let me show you the correct technique for harvesting the grapes. Number 77. According to the speaker, where should listeners get bags? Number 78. What should you do if you need some help in the field? Number 79. What will the speaker most likely do next? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following advertisement. How would you like to learn the cooking secrets of a world class chef? This summer, the Wyndham Culinary Institute is offering a French cooking class taught by an award winning chef, Jean Michel Roux. Chef Roux is famous for his passion for recreating traditional French cuisine in his own creative way. 
The class will meet once a week for eight weeks and is offered on either Tuesday or Thursday evenings. Don't miss your opportunity to learn from someone who has been a head chef for over 15 years in one of the top French restaurants in all of Europe. For more details and enrolment information, visit the Institute's website at www.windhamculinary.com. Don't delay as class sizes are limited. Number 80. What is the advertisement for? Number 81. Why does the woman say, Someone who has been a head chef for 15 years. Number 82. What should a listener do to get more information? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Laugh Zone Comedy Club. Before the show begins, I would like to inform you of our club rules. First, smoking is not permitted in the club. Please go out front to our designated smoking area. You can order food and beverages from our waitstaff, but please do so quietly during the show. We ask that you please silence your mobile phones. Also, photographs should not be taken at any time during the show. The comedians will be available afterwards for photographs. We appreciate your cooperation. And don't forget to pick up the schedule of the upcoming comedians performing at the Laugh Zone Comedy Club on your way out. Thank you very much and enjoy the show. Number 83. Where is this announcement most likely taking place? Number 84. What is the main reason for this announcement? Number 85. What does the man mean when he says, the comedians will be available afterwards. Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for attending this meeting in spite of your busy schedules. As you know, we have been searching for a new editor-in-chief ever since Mr. Watson announced his retirement in March. We interviewed several qualified candidates and one stood out as a perfect fit for our newspaper. I'm very pleased to introduce Carla Diaz as the new editor-in-chief of the Seattle Tribune. She has a lot of experience in journalism and will be a perfect addition to our staff. She is coming to us from San Francisco, where she was the assistant editor at the San Francisco Daily for eight years. Prior to that, she was working as a news editor in Miami and Atlanta. I will turn the microphone over to Ms. Diaz now. She would like to share some of her ideas for the future of our organization. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Carla Diaz. Number 86. What is the purpose of this talk? Number 87. In which city did Ms. Diaz most recently work? Number 88. What will Ms. Diaz probably do next? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. Due to the overwhelming response for tickets for the Broadway musical Forever Love, Jackson Theatre is pleased to announce the addition of two afternoon shows for the November schedule. These shows will take place on November 6th and 7th at 1 p.m. Because this is a last-minute edition, tickets are only available for purchase at the theater box office. There will be no online sales. The box office is open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and weekends from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you are a member of Jackson Theater's Premium Membership Club, you are eligible for 10% discounts as usual. Just show your membership card at the ticket counter. These shows are sure to sell out quickly, so purchase your tickets as soon as possible. Number 89. 
What is the announcement mainly about? Number 90. How should listeners purchase tickets for November 7th's performance? Number 91. What does the woman imply when she says, You are eligible for 10% discounts as usual. Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following news report. A recent survey shows that starting your own business is cheaper now than ever thanks to the growing number of cost-effective business software packages. This type of software is being developed by programmers who keep the prices down in the hopes of making their software as popular as possible. In the past, these applications were hard for non-computer specialists to use, but recently, they've been simplified and became much more user-friendly. Therefore, even the entrepreneurs who are starting a so-called traditional business can easily adapt to them. Companies that save money on starting fees can now spend more money on essential areas of running a new business, such as marketing and product promotions. Number 92. What does the survey show? Number 93. What does the speaker say about computer programmers? Number 94. According to the report, what areas should new companies pay more attention to? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and schedule. Attention customers, it's 8.45 and Wellington's department store will be closing in 15 minutes. Please make your final selections and proceed to a checkout counter nearest to you. We will reopen tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Don't forget that a Wellington gift card is always a great present for your special ones. It's a perfect way to make sure your loved one gets what they want for this holiday season. Gift cards can be purchased at any cash register and they are available in a variety of amounts of your choice from $50 to $500. Once again, we'll be closing in 15 minutes. We'll reopen at 10. Thank you for shopping at Wellington's. Number 95. What will probably happen after the announcement? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which day of the week is tomorrow? Number 97. What is stated about the gift card? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and list. Hi, Lisa. It's Henry from Accounting. I'm going through the expense report you submitted for your recent sales trip to Las Vegas from May 3rd through May 7th. It looks like one of the receipts is missing from your report. I see you're requesting the reimbursement of an expense of $50 on May 7th, but I can't find the receipt for it. It wasn't included with your original report and I'll need that to process the payment you requested. If you don't have it with you, or cannot find a way to get a new one, please give me a call and I'll explain what the procedure is for requesting the reimbursement without a receipt. I know it sounds like a nuisance, but this is a necessary step to follow. Thank you. Number 98. What is the purpose of the call? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which expense needs to be confirmed? Number 100. What does the speaker offer to do?
토익 마퀴 뚫기, 토익 필수 단어, 토익 파트별 요령, 문법 기초 강의, 각 파트 실전 문제는 제 다른 영상들을 참고하세요. 궁금한 점은 댓글 환영합니다.